All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the truth about Jay Station. Now I'm talking about the real truth, not the partial truth, but the 1000% truth. Now let's smash 300 likes for YouTube's fastest news network. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Real God of Cringe. And guys, the fact of the matter is, if you're not subscribed with the bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so I'm sure as you already know, Jay Station himself actually commented on one of my videos that I had made standing up for him. Now, I don't think you should kick a guy when he's down just like Jester did in his latest video. We just landed here in Orlando at Playlist Live. Say hi, my beautiful wife, Amberly. Hello. She has her own channel. Our vlogs are gonna be on that channel in the description below. Nonetheless, like I was saying, I just wanna greatly thank I'm Jay Station for commenting on my video last night. He typed respect with an emoji afterwards with the fist. Uh, I can't tell you what that means to me. The fact that he saw me stand up for him in the video and showed appreciation for that shows me that he is changing as a person. I believe that this two week ban, I don't know if it's two weeks. I'm just hoping that it is temporary, especially since they only banned uh, Logan Paul's monetization for two weeks and then they gave it back. The fact of the matter is, I believe he's changing and I believe people can change. I believe he believes that he no longer has to make content that targets a smaller group of people or that makes a large audience worry for a long period of time about something that never happens. I believe he's learned from that. I believe that YouTube has been a massive, that their latest uh, announcement, removing his monetization, has been a massive uh, milestone for him in his mind. I believe he has and will come, I'm sorry, will overcome and is in the process of overcoming his need for negative attention. I believe that I needed negative attention at one time in my career, doing pranks and mischievous things on YouTube. But now I've realized that that negative attention is no good. And the positive attention breeds positive people around you. And that doing good for others is so important because life is short. We've got nothing but each other, guys. I believe Jay Station is now seeing this. I believe he'll come out with content again very soon because he loves entertaining his audience. And it's fun. YouTube is fun. And the fact that he left a comment on my video last night saying what he said shows me that he realizes that I don't mean him any harm. When I make my videos talking about his latest videos, I'm simply putting in my commentary. I believe the guy is a good guy. I believe he loves and possibly didn't get enough love as a child. And that's okay, not all of us have the best guidance in life. Not everybody's that fortunate. And those people just need guidance. And I believe YouTube's decision has given him the guidance that he's possibly always needed. Because pushing boundaries too far is something that can lead to negative results. He put out videos in the past and they were tempting the boundaries. And I believe now he's learned. I believe right now he's taken a relaxation period for himself, like kind of a vacation, but also a time to reflect and to see where he's gone wrong on down the road. And I believe he's watching people's videos and looking for guidance and learning slowly. It is a process, but I believe people can change and I believe that people do deserve a second chance. He just posted on his Instagram the other day and I screenshotted it and we've, We've seen Jay posting about his luxurious designer clothing. Like I said before, I don't see anything wrong with purchasing that if you can afford that. Because personally, it's not about the brand, it's not about the prestige, it's about the quality. And that's just my opinion. Other people have other reasons for purchasing it. But I believe that Jay also appreciates the artistic value in the appearance and also the quality of material and the really, really soft and thick fabric. I'm wearing an Abercrombie shirt right now. Got it at the thrift store, but nonetheless, just got that good feel and that better quality 
of material, and that's just a fact. But on his Instagram story, he put out a really, really cool Cartier, if I'm not mistaken, is the brand name, ring. And it looks good on him. He's all into the tattoos and whatnot, which I don't have a problem with. Personally, not into them on my own body, but I think they look cool on other people's bodies. He purchased this really cool nail ring. which has like diamonds that it's insanely awesome. I value it maybe three to 5K. I don't have any idea, just my guess. But he says it's a promise to himself and I like that. Some people get tattoos as a promise, some people get jewelry, jewelry as a promise. I think this is one of his reminders that he needs to stay on track. But he's very lucky to be able to afford a Cartier, very expensive piece of jewelry and not to squander his opportunity of making such an incredible living that not very many people have here on YouTube or really anywhere in the world. And he must take that opportunity and take it not for granted, but really appreciate it. And I believe that's why he's purchased this ring for himself. And I think it's really cool that he can afford and has done something like this that is so meaningful.